I have rights. I have the right of education. I have the right to play. I have the right to sing. I have the right to talk. I have the right to go to market. I have the right to speak up. On October 9, 2012, Malala Yousafzai was shot at point blank range by two Taliban militants while riding home on her school bus. She was 15 years of age when this happened. Although she is currently only 19 years old, Yousafzai is one of the most influential promoters of gender equality in education across the globe. She was born on July 12, 1997, in Mangora, Pakistan, to Ziaudid Yousafzai, an education advocate and outspoken opposer of the well-known terrorist organization, the Taliban. Malala Yousafzai's father encouraged her from a very young age to receive an education, even though many others in her country felt that notion was absurd. Growing up, Yousafzai shared her father's love and passion for learning, despite the growing control of the Taliban. In 2008, her father took her to the capital of Peshawar for a press event. She said, How dare the Taliban take away my basic right to education? People were worried that the Taliban would hear her speech and she would be in danger. In 2009, Malala took it upon herself to begin writing a blog for the BBC Urdu service under a false name where she stressed her concerns about the fears of being attacked at school along with increasing military activity throughout her area. Malala Yousafzai won Pakistan's first National Youth Peace Prize at the age of 14 because of her efforts in promoting education for young girls and women, which ultimately placed her on the Taliban's watch list. The terrorist group kept a close eye on Yousafzai and then decided that she should be executed. Soon after, in 2012, Yousafzai's school bus was breached by two Taliban members requesting specifically for Malala Yousafzai. The men pointed their weapons directly at Yousafza and shot her in the head with one bullet that traveled from her skull to her neck and then to her shoulder. Two of her classmates were also injured as a result of the shooting and she and her classmates were immediately rushed to the hospital. Once admitted, Yousafza was immediately airlifted and rushed into surgery where surgeons successfully removed the bullet that was lodged in her shoulder after passing through her head. She remained unconscious and in critical condition while breathing with the help of a ventilator. Her family and close friends visited her in the hospital while she awaited the long recovery and finally she woke up and began moving her hands and feet. Once Yusafsa began regaining consciousness and speaking without noticeable brain damage, her recovery process began to speed up incredibly. She interviewed with reporters while still in the hospital and stated she did not want to give up on her mission of promoting girls' rights to an equal and fair education. In 2014, Yousafza won the Nobel Peace Prize for her efforts toward girls' education. To this day, Malala Yousafza still speaks at the tra and travels to many national conventions, such as the United Nations Conference, where she made a speech on her experience and fight for gender equality. Malala Yousafzai continues to make her name a name for herself in which she has created an organization called the Malala Fund, where people are encouraged to donate money to developing countries across the globe to ensure young girls a safe and equal opportunity to a solid 12 years of education, no matter where they live or what culture strains may be like in their area. She is an inspiration to nearly all girls in her native country, and she has given hope to so many people based on her experiences. Malala Yousafzai does not let her past prevent her from continuing her mission of achieving gender equality across the globe, and she does not plan to stop anytime soon, fighting for the notion of an equal right to education.